So in this unit, we've been talking about culture. We've been talking about why we think certain things are normal or abnormal, primarily through socialization. We've been taught that certain things are supposed to be normal or wrong. Uh, we also learned about ethnocentrism, where because of our socialization, we tend to think that our culture is better than other cultures. Well, now we're going to take a look at what makes a culture different, and also what similarities do cultures have. So the first definition we're going to take today is cultural universal. Please write this down, as well as the 10 things listed underneath it. Now, cultural universal, the word universal means everywhere. So it's something that's found everywhere amongst humans on this planet. It's a thing that is normal across every single culture. It's a trait or a characteristic that is in every single culture throughout the history of the entire world. So if we look at the 10 things that are in every single culture, you'll notice that they're all things that are necessary for survival, really. The first cultural universal is shelter. Obviously, we need shelter because it protects us from the weather. If it's too hot, if it's too cold, if it's raining, we need shelter for our own protection. Two is food. Obviously, we need food to survive, and therefore, every culture has certain traditions with food. Three is spoken language. Now, pay attention, it does not say written language. There are certain cultures on this planet that still have never developed writing. However, every culture does have a spoken language, a way to communicate with each other. Number four is family units. Every single culture on this planet has some way that we organize ourselves into families. Now that might look different, but we all have some sort of a connection to other people that are closer than to other people in society. So we all have marriages, we all have children, we all have parents, so we all have family units. Number five, every culture has some form of law and some way to enforce those laws. And this makes sense. Once you start living with other people, you need to make sure that everybody's getting along and people are not hurting other people. So we need laws and we need ways to enforce those laws. However, we also have warfare in every single culture. And that warfare might look different, but warfare is really just a way to protect our civilization from others that might want to harm us. I think seven and eight are really cool. Every civilization and every culture on this planet has so some form of expression. And that might be artwork, like down here with these totem poles, or it might be music. Every single culture has some form of religion, meaning beliefs that are beyond this earth, beyond our lives. They believe something else exists out there, a god, god, spirits, something like that. And the last thing is every single culture has a form of education. Now, it might not be a school like you're used to. Instead, for instance, in Africa here, it might be this warrior's son uh, comes with his dad to learn how to hunt, to learn how to fight. That's a form of education. So again, every single culture on this planet has these 10 cultural universals. However, I want you to watch something really quick. Hi guys, this is Miss Lowe's first attempt at a grasshopper. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, how's it taste? Good? It, yeah, it tastes kind of like a crunchy nut. Mm -hmm. A little bit. You got a whole bag full. And what? here, take a look. I got worms, grasshoppers, and crickets. Damn, you crazy, Miss Lowe. <laughs> um, what else you got? Okay, let's try a worm. Like a silkworm? What do you think that is? It's like a larva. Larva? So like a maggot? Or a waxworm for a the fishermen. Worm. Probably fishermen out there. Yeah, buddy. It tastes like nuts. That's all it tastes like. Yep. But <laughs> Guys, you need to try them. You got one more, yeah? One more? Is that a cricket? Oh, what's that? Look out, look out. See the little wings on there, guys? Yeah, buddy. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so I wanted you to watch that because, like I was saying, even though every culture has the same 10 cultural universals, 
every culture's universal is a little different. This video was taken when I went to Thailand a few years ago, and a very common food that they eat in Thailand is bugs. They eat grasshoppers, crickets, cockroaches, worms, and the reason for that is in Thailand, they didn't necessarily have all the animals that you're used to. They didn't have cows, so therefore they didn't eat beef. A long time ago, they didn't have chickens, so they didn't eat chicken. However, they still needed protein, and so they found an animal that provided protein, and that was the bugs. So, just like I was saying, even though every culture has the same ten elements, like food, they have different ways of doing those ten universals. And that's what our next definition is. So, even though every single culture has the same ten universals, religion, education, uh, family units, food, every culture does it a little differently. And the term we use for that is a cultural particular. The word particular just means like a certain or specific way that somebody does it. So, for instance, religion. Within the Catholic faith, you might go to church, you might uh, pray to uh, a symbol of Jesus on the cross. In the Muslim religion, they might pray like this, where they go to a mosque and they get on their knees. Uh, in the Buddhist religion, they sit and they meditate. Hindu religion, they believe in multiple, multiple gods that all represent different things. And so you see that even though every culture has religion, every culture does it a little differently. And so we need to know why is that? So why do cultural particulars exist? In other words, why are universals expressed in different ways? So why doesn't everybody live in a condo in a city? Why doesn't everyone eat steak for dinner? Well, that's because every culture has different resources available to them. And this is your last note. Please write this down. Every culture has different resources. So for instance, if you live in the middle of Africa, you probably don't have access to concrete. You probably don't have access to steel. What you do have access to is mud and sticks and wood, and therefore your house looks like a hut. Now, if you're in the city and you don't have a lot of space, you have a condo because you don't have the resource of land. Where I come from in the United States, most people live like this. They have a large yard, they have a lot of land, and so they have a large house. So why is it different? It's different because you have different resources available to you. Let's talk about the food, for instance. I was eating the bugs over in Thailand. Why? Because they need protein. Well, if you don't have cows and goats and chickens, you need the protein from somewhere. And so you get it from the bugs. Another example is in Hawaii, they needed carbohydrates. Well, they don't have rice. They didn't have wheat. So instead, they ate something called taro, which is kind of similar to what you eat here. Um, and they would mash it up and they would get their carbohydrates that way. Now in the United States and Brazil, we have access to a lot of sugar and processed foods, which is why we eat crappy stuff like Oreos. So again, it has to do with what resources are available. We also see that in family units. Now traditionally, we're used to seeing this, where it's a man and a woman married to each other. Well, in parts of West Africa, it's very common for one man to have two or three wives. Why is that? Because there's a lack of men in West Africa. The resource that they don't have is men, and therefore one man marries several women because the women need to have a husband. On the other side, in parts of Mongolia, you have the opposite problem. In Mongolia, they don't have the resource of women, and so in parts of Mongolia, you have one woman who marries several men. And therefore, the reason why there are differences is because of the resources we have available. Alright guys, so we're going to be talking about this a lot more. You're going to be doing an assignment right now that's going to be looking at a very particular cultural trait, which is food and also our material items. And you're going to try to figure out why are they different and also why are they similar. If you have any questions, 
please let me know. And if you need to watch this again to help you understand, please pause it and go back to the